everybody. Today, we're doing a spray job. I figured I'd go through and show you exactly how I do everything that I do on the cars. Um, this is just orange from rust -Oleum. It's called Real Orange Gloss. This has a primer and a clear in it. That's why I don't use primers or clears. Uh, as you can see my last video, the one with the purple car, how clean the, how clean the paint job is and how shiny it is for spray can. We're going to do the same thing on this car, the customer's car. Big ol' caprice. So what we're going to do is, I went, I already went to Walmart as you can see. That's where I get my paint. Doesn't really matter. Rust-Oleum 2X. That's the best. And that's not just a, my opinion. That's so far, that's, that's a fact for me. Everything else I've used kind of just sucks. I mean, it's good, but it's not as good as this stuff is. This has more coverage. Okay, so I got I got a good deal. Buy two, get one free. Three rolls of tape. Um, razor blades helps get over spray off windows if you don't tape it right. I just needed some, so I bought some. So with buying acetone to clean off excess overspray, razor blades, tape, and seven cans of orange, I spent a total of $37.91. This is going to be a $37.91 paint job. Um, give or take, you know, 3 or $4 because I might need an extra can since this thing's massively huge. Um, but I know for sure that we have enough uh, tape and newspaper to cover it. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get started prepping, just lightly sanding down the hood and all the panels. The, the roof is actually a vinyl top, so I'm not going to be sanding on that. But the rest of it's all already primed. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a black prime. Um, my brother was going to do a different color with this car, but he ended up selling it. So the guy that he sold it to, he actually wants me to paint it. So I'm just going to scuff up the black. So this is basically the primer for me. We'll tape off all the chrome, the windows, and then I'll show you how I spray. So let me get started doing that. Um, Basically, what I recommend doing for prep-wise is get yourself a pack that has 220 and 320 and 400 in it. Start off with 220. If it looks rough but it feels fine, that's okay. Because it's more about how it feels than it looks before it's painted. Once it's painted, you won't see all that that you're seeing with your eyes. If you can't feel it, you won't see it in the paint job. So start with 320, work your way up. Um, to four, or start with 220, work the way 320, and then 400 for the final smooth process. And then wipe it down if you can with a uh, shop towel or a tack cloth um, with acetone on it. helps. It kind of gets all the dirt and grease, and if they've ever used wax, it'll get that off because those do not re react well with paint. This paint here, um, this Rust-Oleum, it is fast drying, so do it on a cool night if you have a temperature-controlled garage or paint booth then you're even better um, the cooler it is the better and more even the coats will be so I highly recommend doing it when it's cooler out um, of course the humidity can't be too high or it'll fish eye so grease and humidity are no good for paint jobs so I hope this will help everybody out there that wants to do a nice cheap paint job that looks decent um, there is no substituting spray gun jobs not unless you're like a real, real, real good professional with spray can. Then you can spray can it and then shoot it with a high clear out of a gun. Then no one would know the difference between that and a gun job, a complete gun job. So stay tuned. I'm going to prep it. I'm not going to be recording for that. Uh, just basically it's going to take too long, too much video, um, space on the SD card, all that good stuff. And the battery's not fully charged yet. So I'm going to go ahead and prep this, tape it off, and then right before I paint it, I'll show you my technique. Stay tuned.
All right, so we only have one can left. It's not even a full can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see how much I can get done with this can. Um, most likely just the quarter panel, or I'll start here. As you can see, I'm almost positive you guys have seen that I didn't tape all the windows off. I did that for a reason, work smarter, not harder. This, it's overspray. It may look like it's a lot, but it's just the dust. Uh, it doesn't actually have bad overspray. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to wipe the windows down. Um, it's real easy because I bought acetone, razor blades, and I have shop towels. And it'll come right off the windows. You'll see whenever I go to do that, I'll show you how I do it. Um, if you want to do it the proper way, go ahead and take the entire window off, plastic the ground wet the ground depending on how bad your garage is or wherever you're doing it uh, keep the note ma make sure you start low and then work your way up because when that overspray falls it'll fall into wet paint so it won't leave a rough texture it's one of the keys to it and make sure to go over it a few times if you have to let it dry coat and then do it again but make sure to keep the coats wet if there's any dry spots in between that's how you get those lines so I'm going to do the rest of this, then i got to go buy a couple more cans, and then we can finish the rest and then start tape, taking everything off, all the tape and all that. Yes, I had to back it in because this car is way too big for my garage. So stay tuned, guys.
real even. It's no runs. Got all the way down. And as you can see, the door is open. That way it doesn't run off into the other part that I've already painted, because then you'll have to redo the whole door. Once it dries, it'll all dry even, as long as you have the same amount of coats through it all. You can even see my reflection. Do all down in there. And another spot I try to make sure to do, I have so much experience doing this that it's not a problem for me, but it could be a problem, especially for people just starting out. See how I did this, but I didn't do this? You want to make sure to overlap it. Keep going. Don't stop. Because once you go to spray this spot and not hit this spot, you'll get over spray on this, and it will look really crappy. So make sure to get it all. So we have the trunk left and this quarter panel, and then that's it. Then the whole thing will be done. We'll go clean the windows off, take tape off, and uh, wash it at the car wash. Yes, with spray can, you can wash it at the car wash. Just don't get real close to the paint painted surfaces. Uh, focus mostly on wheels, tires, um, undercarriage, bumpers. or These are chrome, so you can focus on these and do the roof and the windshield. Make sure to hit the windows. But you can get it wet after it's dry. Um, this doesn't have a wait period like most uh, car, like professional paint jobs, I guess you'd call it. Spray gun jobs, you have to wait a certain time. These you do not. Um, just like I said, don't get too close because that could be an issue. But yep, we'll hit the trunk. I gotta go get probably three or four more cans and it should take care of the rest of this big boat. So stay tuned. So the GoPro ran out of memory and I don't have time to upload it all into the computer, but here it is. Uh, I'm about to wash it. Looks pretty good. I've already cleaned all the chrome up and got the stuff off the windows. The only thing that's left is, see the soft top that's all over spray so I'm gonna pressure wash it scrub the soft top down and pressure wash it and then the windshield obviously is gonna get scrubbed down and steel wool fine steel wool number zero 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 that is okay to use on windshields it takes the freaking paint right off and to clock polish up the chrome but there she is one happy customer too I sent him pictures so all right, thanks for watching everybody. Uh, like, subscribe, share, and uh, stay tuned for more videos. This is my spray can paint job. So, thanks for watching, guys.